3D printed infill. It went from going to something you use to structurally support the inside of a print or make it stronger to sometimes being absolutely gorgeous and mesmerizing and unfortunately a waste because it's inside the model. So today I decided we're gonna do something functional with these little hexagon tiles that I did. Something where you can enjoy the insides of the print rather than the outside. So let's get to it. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. More on that later. This was a very easy process. These are just simple hexagons designed in Fusion 360. They're five millimeters thick and it's just a matter of printing them with uh, three bottom layers, two perimeters, no top layers, and then just the infill you want and the percentage you want. Then what I did, I simply did a color change um, from the infill to the base layers so I can get that nice effect where the, um, the infill actually looks quite awesome. So as you saw from the title, I want to make coasters with these and I don't want to over complicate it. It has to be as simple as possible because I do plan on selling these on my Etsy store, which I have yet to create. However, there, it might be created by the time you see this and there might be a link in the video description to buy these. Uh, so yeah, I want the process to be as simple as possible using the least amount of materials possible, using uh, making it as cost effective as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using these 10 millimeter plywood sheets. Now, these used to be shelves in the back room for the uh, filaments that I had but I removed those because now I have sort of like metal shelving. So I'm left with these, which I don't know how to use. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them in strips like these. These are about eight millimeter thick, which will go around the border. And then for the base, I'm gonna use another piece of plywood. It's a four millimeter plywood that I got from the guy that delivers my wood. I was the last person that he delivered wood to. He had a sheet at the bottom to protect the wood. So he said, would you like it? I'm like, yes, because I'll find a use for it. And I found a use for it. Finally, we're going to be using some craft resin just to top it all off so you can protect the infill and the 3D printed part. And yeah, we'll, um, we'll get to it from there. So since I was getting a bit of tear out um, at the back every time I did a cut on the uh, on the um, on the miter saw, uh, apart from changing the blade, um, I also did this kind of piece of jig over there, um, and that prevents all tear out. So it worked out absolutely beautifully. And since I have that stop part over there, just push the parts in three at a time, cut down, turn, cut again. And that's 36 coasters. Now this took roughly about 45 minutes to do, but by the time I was like halfway through, it, it, it became so consistent. It was taking like 30 seconds to do each one, to glue each one and clean it up. So yeah, we now have a process. Next is cutting down the hexagon base. Now I could easily sort of like draw a line, cut it with a saw and then sand it down and that would be fine. What I'm gonna do is I have a CNC, so we're, uh, I'm gonna cut them up on the CNC on just one big piece. Um, slightly bigger than the coaster, and then just finish it off on the belt sander.
Okay, so our coasters are all done. They're all varnished up. These are just a few test pieces I put in just to just see how they look. This one looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely love it. Um, so initially I started with uh, a spray, clear coat spray, but it takes quite a few coats. It was taking too long. So instead I opted to use this right here, which is um, a clear varnish um, using a cloth and just slather it on and let it dry overnight. The, the, the result is absolutely beautiful. I love it, it's a natural color. I could definitely stain these um, different colors, which would look absolutely cool. And we'll have to try that out. But for now, all we need to do is mix some more resin and um, fill them up. I haven't put the resin in, but I just taking in all this, this looks absolutely gorgeous. And you know, aside from coasters, this would make a really nice piece of wall art. So that, that could be uh, an idea. Just, you know, make, a full wall of these. It'll be expensive for those who wish to do it, but oh man, they look so awesome. Okay, back to uh, the resin part. Okay, these have been fully poured. Um, it took about 1.2 liters of mixed resin to fill up 36 of these, just FYI. So now it's time to let them completely settle. Um, come back tomorrow, slide buff to remove any sort of drying imperfections. And then it's on to the final step, the branding. While the resin dries, let's talk about Skillshare, today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. There are thousands of inspiring classes to choose from, such as photography, video, freelancing, woodworking, design, illustration, and many, many more. I've managed to go through many classes myself on Skillshare, including ZBrush, Fusion 360, Procreate, Another class I'll be following is hand lettering. I recently bought an open source silk screen press for a few projects and product I will be releasing. So having that fully custom effect will definitely set my work apart from the rest as it would be unique. Now Skillshare have been generous enough to offer the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So go ahead and try it out find something new to inspire you. Thank you, Skillshare.
The results turned out absolutely amazing and I couldn't be more happy or proud for the fact that I finally managed to develop something which I can sell, which is one of the first things of many items I'm plan I plan on putting up on my Etsy store. Now, for those of you wondering, uh, the filament I used is uh, Polymaker's new Polyterra PLA, which is a 100% biodegradable filament. Um, for every spool purchased, a tree will be planted in the country it is purchased in. If you guys wanna try it out, uh, Polymaker have been generous enough to provide me with a coupon code for you guys to get a discount. It'll be in the video description. It's a non-affiliate link. So uh, just it's just something for you guys uh, to be able to try out Polyterra. I want to thank also Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. Uh, I want to thank my patrons and my YouTube members for being the absolutely most amazing people on earth for supporting me and allowing me to do all these things. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications in order to get notified when I bring up uh, more projects like these, which trust me, there will be a lot more, more of all. That is it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing these coasters, link will be in the video description. I will be shipping internationally. As always, thank you and happy making, guys.